guys, I am Chris Kaler. And I'm Amber Fast and Kajin Kostly. And tonight we are watching with you guys Breaking Bad episode 6 of season 4. <laughs> what happened last episode? Wait, this one is called Cornered. Cornered. Alright, what happened last episode? Jesse went on a little trip with Mike. He made him leave. But, well, he, he didn't make him do anything, but uh, for a while we were thinking that he was gonna teach him something, and eventually he kind of did. He taught him how to be a hero. Kind of. It was a plan, like by Gus. He sent Mike and Jesse together, and he planned this attack on them, and Jesse had to save Mike. Or at least he, he thinks he did. And he felt good about himself for, for once since the beginning of the season. So, I mean, I don't know. Some people are saying that uh, Gus is trying to teach Jesse how to be loyal to him and Mike and not Eisenberg. That could be a great hypothesis. I see this as maybe a, a way for, for Jesse to finally start living again and stop being a liability mm -hmm. to Gus. And, oh, mm -hmm. right. So, I mean, we'll have to see, but he, keep, he, he, will, he will keep working with Mike, so we'll see more of that. We'll see more of Gus's plan. Let's hope he doesn't abandon Walter, because, I mean, Walter has done a lot to keep Jesse in for, I mean, for, for his own safety and stuff, so I don't, yeah. I don't want him to just let him go. <laughs> Still. We'll see. Oh, we'll and see. Skylar and, and Walter are now uh, together again. Back together, and like you said, I don't think that... Walter is that uh, bothered to uh, go, went back to the house. I mean, I'm sure deep down he's really happy that he ha he get he can go back to his family, go back to Skyler. But um, I mean, it, he's like back to the beginning. Like he has no independence. He, he's like being pushed any way she wants, and he cannot say a single word because it's not his expertise or something. But uh, I mean, he's not in a good place, and he did that freaking monologue to to Hank. <laughs> Because he was not the happy. Freaking monologue. He yeah. was not happy that Hank was basically taking his accomplishments and putting them on Gale. So he basically went and said, "I think your genius is still out there," and it pushed Hank to think that yes, maybe Eisenberg is still alive. And he found that damn clue about Poyos and Marlos. Exactly. So yeah, this is where we are right now. <laughs> Got my new chair. You noticed, obviously, but uh, I was so happy t when I bought this thing and I was waiting for it like, for months and now it is here. And with that said, let's watch it. Let's go. No, 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 no. Let's see if they can do this the same way Mike did. Paul Trevor. <laughs> oh. Oh shit, they locked them in. They did learn about their mistakes, they're getting dangerous. Like more dangerous than they were. That The thing is, they're after Gus. Eventually, they'll find Jesse and Mike. And, Ma and Walter. It's like a horrible way to die. <laughs> Just for that. Just for that. Freaking. Meth! <laughs> and the thing is, now that Hank has his eyes set on Polos Hermanos, he's gonna notice these things. Like, two guys with Walter. guns. Two guys with what guns. Have you done? In the car. But then I was remembering your black eye. <laughs> your uh, business disagreement that you don't wanna talk about. What to talk about? Anything, you should. Ever. You must, especially since now she works with him. Church she needs to know this. And then I remembered the message you left me the other day. When I heard that, I thought that maybe you—I don't know—that you were regretting what's happened between us. And I get that. After last night, I... she said, "No more secrets." Oh, I think you're scared. I think that message was some kind of goodbye. No. Yes. I think last night was a cry for help. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> cry for help. I think some part of you wants Hank to catch you. 
You think that? Maybe, though. That is just... Because, I mean, maybe the stress level is too high now. I think it's more about pride and stuff, but... Uh, I think that there are kind of two ways to approach this. So. Who is it you think you see? Do you know how much I make a year? I mean, even if I told you, you didn't believe it. You clearly don't know who you're talking to, so let me clue you in. I am not in danger, Skylar. I am the danger. Oh my god, oh my god. god. Just to get shot. You think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. <laughs> Holy shit. He was. I mean, he's the one who sent Jesse after Gail. But I am the danger god. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's gonna end up with Skylar scared of him. Yeah. But that's and the she thing. kind of she, is now. She was implying that he was scared and that, I mean, it, it would be better for him to go to the police and stuff. We know that what he did last episode with Hank, that's because his pride was hurt. Because he didn't like the fact that Gail was taking all his credits. Yeah. But I can't stop thinking that maybe she got some point right. Because he down. is in danger against Gus. And if Hank did up finding Gus' okay, business... He won't, God won't be a threat for him anymore, technically. But it's part of a thick everything. <laughs> she just let him in, you know? She opened the door for him. <laughs> and he <laughs> knocks. <laughs> but no, yeah, I think she's realizing that she doesn't know him as much as she thought. It's, it's about the gambling, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kind of hard to. It, she she can't understand it, it. It's not like you're doing this on purpose. You can't help it. It's not that simple. She's Look, still the bad the guy in his eyes. It, it, it's like you're an alcoholic, right? No, it's not. Not at all. Yeah. Yes, it is. I I read online. She's not even allowed to be mad at you. Gambling addiction is a sickness. You can't. Listen. What is going on with me is not about some disease, it's about choices. Choices that I have made. Choices I stand by. Yeah, but, uh... You're not moving back in. I think it is kind of a sickness, especially with uh, his drug deal and stuff. He is addicted to this, to that rush. No. We've known for a while. Control, power, recognition. Why don't we... Take a little detour. He's gonna buy him a car. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. I think it's time we got you your own car. What do you think? I think if you come buy me off, buy me off. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing that he's thinking about. Holy shit! What? <laughs> oh my god, god. Charlie! <laughs> That kid is lucky! Well, not so lucky if his parents ever get arrested, but damn! It has to be Jesse Pinkman. Why? Are you a former Navy SEAL? Do you have to have your hands registered as lethal weapons? Now register this! All I'm saying is that do you not even question this? And I'm not trying to be insulting, I'm just trying to make you see things clearly. I see this thing probably started as Gus getting Mike to babysit me. Mm. But you know what? He's not dumb. I saved Mike from getting robbed. Even killed, maybe. So maybe I'm not such a loser after all. And that's the real reason. <laughs> it was all staged up. If he says it's staged up, he's not gonna like this. Well, I can't do anything if it's not staged, that's what you're saying? <gasps> no. What if, what if it's, it's no. <laughs> what? This robbery that you stopped wasn't even real. Gus can't kill you because of me. He knows I won't stand for it. He needs me, and he hates the fact that he needs me. So what does he do? He goes to work driving a wedge between you and me. This whole thing. He's got oh, it, so. But what is it going to do to Jesse? It's all about me. I don't think he believes it. Because he brings it back to him. Jesse likes to be in the spotlight sometimes. And that's the thing, like... <laughs> When he's with Walter, it's always about Walter. He, and when he's with Mike, he's taking care of him. He's asking if he's alright, you know, he's uh, making him a hero. 
He's gonna prefer to be with yeah. Mike. That's gonna end up so badly. Gus's plan is working. He knows how to work people up against one of one of one, one another. another. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Is it a way for her to guess where she's going next or something? She's like just... She's going to Colorado? Ah. She literally was on her way out. She was leaving. Yeah. And she wanted Faye to decide for her to went back home, but in the end she decided for herself. Yeah. Because she can't abandon her son and her husband. The deal is we're watching that house. Couple down on the left with the tree in the front. Yeah? What for? Now, a little birdie told me there's some guys in there that have three pounds of our product, which they're selling, mm. and which they sure as hell didn't get from us. We sit here and watch that house. Until one of our entrepreneurs pops his head out, then we ask a few questions and get our property back. I kind of understand why Sim bug off by you because he's a man of action. I'm getting those pricks out of that house. Oh, your first attempt being such a wild success. You may know this whole PI sit in the car business, but I know meth heads. <laughs> Maybe he will become the guy. <laughs> I'm kind of excited to know what it's about to do. Yeah. Hey, what you what doing? Are you doing? <laughs> Digging. How deep are you going? I don't know. How deep do you think it is? Hey, uh, you mind taking over for a minute? He's playing with his psycho or something, like, his bad tripping. <laughs> oh my god. He's just obsessed with what he's doing. He, he knows this. He's been through this. Mind if I use your John? <laughs> oh my god. And that's the thing, Mike oh cannot understand this. hes I don't think he's been in that s situation before. If you went a former police officer, I don't think he was using. Tucker. After that, he went with Gus, so... Tucker. Hey, I'm a, I'm a friend of Tucker's. Oh, oh shit. I just, uh, just wanna, just wanna buy some of the blue. It's not for sale. Tucker! Hey, hey, let's go, let's go find. Let's go outside. I don't have enough for you, all right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. What? You can't know that. What does that mean? What? You don't put thoughts in my head. You don't put thoughts in my head. Absolutely. You're right. You're right. Tucker. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go. Mike might actually be proud. It was dangerous. Yeah, but, but and it wasn't a setup. Jesse did something on his own that was not set up. Give us a minute, will you? Mm-hmm. Last time we saw him, he killed someone. <laughs> The crew that hit our truck gave away the cargo to a couple local nobodies. Very disciplined of them, not keeping anything for themselves. It was all about sending a message, which they did, literally. It was written on the bucket lid. Ready to talk? Set up a meeting. Let's see what they have to say. How did he do today? 
Pretty good. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he, uh, he would be on his way to become the new Mike, maybe. Oh, maybe just the new Victor. Nobody can be a the new Mike. Come yeah. on. I hear you can handle yourself. I guess. Good night. Excuse me. Why me? I like to think I see things in people. <laughs> How can use them? Yeah, for my own profit. Exactly. But it is true. He's able to see things in people that they can do. He sees a potential to destroy Walter. Once Walter's gone, I mean, he can get rid of Jesse quite easily. I guess we should talk. You think? Well, I think you said plenty the other day. About that, I, I just... Skylar, I may have overstated things earlier. You barely, sorry, barely scraped the surface, man. Forward. Everything that I do, everything, I do it to protect this family. So, buying that car, that was protecting your family? It goes back tomorrow. Oh my god. Skylar, it will crush him. That car directly contradicts our story. True. And if you're so invested in protecting this family, it means protecting the story. What do you think the neighbors are going to say, Walt? I swear, if she sends the car back, she's going to be the bad, the bad one again. He's going to hate her. I just worry that he'll blame you for this. <laughs> Once again, he'll blame his bitch mother for taking away what his loving father has given him, so... Thanks for that. Someone has to protect this family from the man who protects this family. Oh, shit! <laughs> what a great comeback! I mean, you were right. I think she is getting scared and she's seeing... And not scared of him in the, you know, he's gonna hit me way. In it, he's gonna actually do something because of his ego and get us all killed. She's the one who was cornered this episode. Cornered with a choice, I think. <laughs> when you're cornered, you don't have a choice. That's the thing. She had a choice, kinda. Because she was cornered, but in a place where you have like four corners. That's why, I think that's why she went there. It fell on Colorado, but she cares too much about the family to go there and just leave them all behind and save her own life. So she is cornered because she doesn't really have a choice, like you said. She has to go back home because of what she feels for them, how she is with the family. She can't leave her son behind. And deep down, she cares about Walter. She was listening to that message over and over and over again. And, but, I mean, when, when we first heard the message, we knew that eventually she was going to realize something was wrong. And she did. Especially after what he said last episode. I mean, it was like a, a dead giveaway. She just, I think she's wrong when she says that it's because Walter deep down is scared and he wants to be caught. Maybe Walter, really deep down, wants it all to be over. He wants to be safe. He doesn't want to deal with Gus. But Eisenberg, it's his pride. And that's the part of him that she doesn't know. The part that she she saw a glimpse of this episode. <laughs> She's just uh, a glimpse of it. Oh my god. The and surface. she was troubled, even, those, even scared. But just a surface. He's so freaking imposing. Every single time when he was, uh, you know, getting the keys for the car wash, he turned into full-on Eisenberg. The other guy didn't notice, but it was, it got really dangerous for a moment here. And we were so, I was afraid, I don't know about you, but I was afraid he was going to do something. He kind of did, but it was more funny than dangerous, so there's that. But, um, she, but got, she got to see a, a glimpse. He was so bitchy about it. I kind of understand the, the, why the, the previous owner wants you to say more less, and, oh, you need to... You could be as is, uh, as, as is, uh, as, uh, as yeah. is, come um, this place. 
It's been 30 years since uh, I bought this place, since this is my baby, I took it for a while. This is the first dollar that I've won with my company. I'm so proud of it. And Walter, just to put turn the knife again and the wound, just well, take it back because I am the boss now, so just... To be fair though, the the uh, the, the uh, ancient boss, the, the other guy, he was twisting the knife pretty much. He was basically just bringing back all these years of work. He doesn't respect him. Walter. Look, Walter no. used to be his employee, yeah. and the situation is so ironic that the employee take over the company and just put him on a bench. Yeah, and he's still pissed about what happened because he was he had to sell. Because they tricked him that the water was contaminous. And that's why he's, say, he's basically saying as is. He's, he thinks that Walter's going to have to deal with this pro these problems. But for him, it's just a cover up. It's not even about the business. So I'm a bit sad for that guy. Although he was a real asshole when he <laughs> sold the place. But uh, Walter yeah. just taking that first dollar and, and spending it on a, a soda pop. I'm like, yeah. he doesn't care. Like I said, <laughs> victory tastes great. Yep. That car was cool though. <laughs> I don't, I, well, I think they will send it back. It's really too flashy. And I mean, if the, he doesn't get into an accident for this, there will be drama if they send it back. So, I mean, that's the problem we were maybe first, first, first seeing. But in this. couldn't Walter sell his own car and buy himself one, a cheaper one? To kind of criticize that I got money to, uh, to buy me, a car. Tell me, what kind of parent would sell his own car to buy a good car for their a son? A grandparent? No. <laughs> no, okay, I, I know. That sounds fishy, I know. But Skyler is not crazy, though. I mean, that that's the thing. Walter doesn't think about this. Because he's... What he's do what he does always is his pride gets in the way and he has the means to give his son what he wants and be the cool dad, you know? He wants his son to be on his side and to understand what he wants to you know, what he says and stuff. And he's got all that money and it's it's such a great thing for him to be looked at by his son with adoration, admiration, respect. And when he gives him that car, that's what he has. Respect, admiration. He's being loved for giving this to his it's son. It's sad because the way you just said it, it's like that he really did buy his son off. Yeah. Yeah. And he knows it. And his son knows it too. He's playing with it. It's cool. But Skylar is right. If he attracts too much attention because of his freaking ego, like he did last episode, like he kind of did this episode too, eventually he's going to get caught and put everyone in danger. He doesn't want to go to the police because he's the man. He's the one who knocks. And by the way, that monologue was great. <laughs> he's the danger. But uh, he doesn't think about what it could do to everyone else. And she's like, I'm once again forced, kind of, to stay in that situation and do as he says. Well, damn. I'm going to protect that family because he can obviously <clears throat> not do it. He is a danger that knocks on the door, so... He keeps... And I mean, the way she puts it, he keeps putting her in a situation where she is the bad one, but she's actually doing the right thing, and you just know the son is going to hate her for this. No matter if... You know, if Walter is the one saying, oh, you know what, we have to take the car back, he's going to know it's because of his mom. So I'm expecting, once again, the son to be really, really mad next episode. But... This technically got the money after the sale. They keep p uh, paying for Ang treatment. Yeah, but the treatment can be explained with the gambling, the car, and the treatment. It's it's too much, especially since they just bought a business. Maybe in a few years, but not now. It's a tr I mean, right now it's okay, but eventually, if the people keep seeing you know Walter Jr. with that car and they think oh you know what they start thinking oh he's got a good car but didn't his dad just buy a business and isn't he paying for his brother-in-law uh, they don't know that but I mean they know his brother-in-law is in trouble and everything is being paid for and stuff I mean someone could start thinking about what's going on with that family and eventually they'll find out <sighs> just like Hank might find we didn't see Hank this episode but I'm pretty sure he's gonna get on that trail eventually yeah, these these this other cartel is leaving way too many clues behind for him not to notice. Well, they don't care. If Gus' business 
is discovered by the police. Yeah. They're fine. But that's... The, I mean, I'm not, I don't care about the other cartel, but I, I'm starting to worry about Jesse and Walter. Jesse, eventually, he might... I mean, they're going to go after Mike. He's the guy. Jesse is starting to become the guy. So <laughs> maybe he's going to go after... The, the other cartel is going to go after them. Jesse might be in danger. And he's starting to feel confident about this. But I, I was proud of him because yeah. this time it wasn't a setup. By the way, Walter... Just freaking think about it for a second. You know how shitty Jesse was. How his stuff was all messed up and how bad he felt about himself. Why would you say you could think that it was a setup, but just don't say to his face. I mean Come on. Yeah, he was right. That's the thing. He's scared for both of them. He's scared that Gus has a plan and it's okay. He it's true that the way he said it. It's once again bringing it all, bring it, bringing it all back to him, and Jesse is done with this. For once, he was the man. He was the one doing the business. He was the one in charge, and he did something good. And Walter is just saying that was fake. Basically, I, it's all about me. So I get why he's mad, and that's why he basically proved himself. This is not a setup. I can actually do this, and he did. And he was great. He knows methods. You're getting on my nerves. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we'll get. We'll go see what he wants later. All right. So, but no, I, I'm proud of Jesse. I'm scared of what he might do in the future if he gets too confident. Because I mean, he, it was dangerous. If if Mike had not come into the house at that moment, he could have got shot. So. Oh my gosh! And that guy just keep digging the hole. I mean, that's the thing. He knows about this world. And once again, that's why he was so valuable when he started with Walter. He didn't know anything about the actual technique or how to do the math, but he knew the world, and Walter did not. And once oh, again, with Mike... I just think about it. It's true that at first it was important because he knew how the drug world kind of worked, mm -hmm. and he learned with Walter how to do the 99% purest meth in the world. <laughs> you think he's going to learn and how to become Mike? Kind of, if he keep going with Mike, he will. Jesse is like a sponge. Jesse is Sponge <laughs> Pikmin. How many nicknames do we have for him? The Blowfish Pikmin, the yeah. Atrax Trouble Pikmin, yeah. and now the Sponge Pikmin. Yeah. <laughs> really, if he keep going with Mike, he's gonna become the man. Maybe. The guy. Yeah, the guy. Well, he is capable guy. of being the guy. Yeah. Eventually, he will become the guy. Pretty sure there's a remix of this eventually somewhere. People have been talking about this. Like, there's a, a song about this. I don't know, but I'm, I yeah, want to look it up. If he does end up becoming the guy, think about how dangerous he will be. Especially if he ends up... Like, if Walter ends up doing his own business, if he takes down Gus and uh, he, he'll have his own bodyguard, basically. Yeah, I don't think that. it will go... I don't think it will go that way, but uh, he could learn a few things from Mike. Yeah, that too. But Jesse technically knows how to do the math. He feels if he can be Mike, Walter, and, Walter and, and Gus, Gus <laughs> he doesn't need Walter at the end. I don't know. I mean, I don't think he will ever become all of these guys, but he might start thinking he can be on his own with this. The, the, the only reason why he's working... I'm, really, I'm, I'm really going to be laughing my hands off if at the end of it... Gus plan work against himself because he wants to put Jesse in his pocket, <laughs> but Jesse just become like a, a, a rabbit dog. Because that's exactly what he's doing. He's trying to build Jesse up to be his own guy and leave Walter behind. And he's also making sure he gets clean and he's not a tr he's not trouble and stuff. But it is about Walter. It, it's a bit about Jesse, of course, because Gus saw in him potential. Maybe not for what Jesse thinks, though. So we'll get we'll have to see what happens in the future. It all depends on what Jesse does next. Cuz right now he's mad about he's mad at Walter. He is. So he is. Let's move on to the next episode and right. see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next one right away, it is already up on Patreon. The link is in the description. So go down there guys, click and subscribe. And if you don't wanna, this will be up on YouTube in a few hours. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Bye guys. Bye.